bucket number three. Brittany, tell us what you've done on a well here. Okay. Here you have um, the pump head, which we pulled out of a neighbor's old old well. So we added the, the outer tube, which sucks water from the cylinder, and then the pump rod is in the green, and it attaches to the handle. So basically the cylinder at the bottom, mm -hmm. we attach some pipe and a pump pump head. Here's how the plans look on paper. And here's how it looks in real life. I found some roller skate wheels that were the perfect size for the plunger in the cylinder. I just needed to sand them down a bit to make them fit the two inch pipe. We also used the leather from the roller skates for the plunger. Find yourself a hefty pair of scissors because the leather is not easy to cut. The finished plunger. Trim the leather off because that's not fitting, but the water makes it go in a little easier. Yeah, it definitely does. Self-lubricating like that. Yeah, I think it will be acceptable. A good fit. So this piece of stop lip is still existing and you couldn't get this to go in to the top. But on this other piece, the stop lip has been filed down, and this will go through without a problem. The foot valve. These three pieces make up the foot valve seat. The plunger. Okay, well I'm done, so take it all and I would maybe paint it. Here's the pump cylinder. And that's how it goes on in a pump tube. That's how the pump will work. Okay. pump tube has been dropped down. Brittany, what are you doing there? I'm lining the well with bentonite clay so it doesn't get contaminated. Oh. Okay, putting on the pump head. Whoa! We got water. <laughs> Crystal clear water. Out of a two inch pumping cylinder. That's it for this week at Factor E Live.